Hello, in this video I will discuss the Nuremberg and Mattier and Nuremberg and Letter experiments that focused on determining the genetic code. In 1961, Nuremberg and Mattier made an important step in elucidating the genetic code. They started off simple, experimenting to figure out what amino acids are specified by codons consisting of only one type of nucleotide. For their experiment, they took a bunch of RNA nucleotides of one type and used polynucleotide phosphorylase to connect the nucleotides into a homopolymer. This homopolymer was then added to a test tube that contained the components necessary for translation, one radioactively labeled amino acid and 19 unlabeled amino acids. Translation was then allowed to take place and the translated protein was filtered out of the test tube and checked for radioactivity. This was done in 20 test tubes, with the radioactive amino acid differing in each one. The tube that contained the radioactive protein contained the newly translated protein with the amino acid specified by the homopolymer used. This experiment was repeated four times, using a homopolymer composed of uracil, adenine, guanine, and cytosine. The results were that UUU encodes for the amino acid phenylalanine, AAA encodes for lysine, CCC encodes for proline, and GGG did not work. This experiment was the first to determine that a specific RNA sequence coded for a specific amino acid and identified three codons. Nuremberg and Letter's triplet binding assay greatly expanded on the previous experiment, going from codons composed of only one nucleotide to any of the possible 64 codons. In their experiment, they mixed R mRNAs with known codons with ribosomes and with 20 types of tRNAs that are charged with their respective amino acid, and one of the 20 types of amino acids were radioactively labeled. After mixing, the mixed components were allowed to bind together. The mixture was then filtered so that the ribosome bound with the mRNA and the tRNA specified by that mRNA were separated from the unbound tRNAs and their amino acids. The filter was then checked for radioactivity, and if it was radioactive, then the codon used specified for the radioactive amino acid. This process was repeated 19 times with a different radioactively labeled amino acid. The results of this experiment was the identification of 61 codons, with three remaining codons eventually being found to not code for amino acids, but rather for tRNA release factors.